Hi, and welcome again to another edition of Market Analysis for today, April 4th, 2023. I'm Giovanni Betancourt, analyst, trader, and educator with Vantage Markets. Well, you know, OPEC makes the Fed's job harder. That may end up hurting investors. The unexpected oil production cuts are a stark reminder that for all the Federal Reserve's focus on slowing consumer price gains, some factors are out of the central bank's hands. It's also a reminder that not everybody's pulling in the same direction. The oil producing nations, not least Saudi Arabia, have little time, if any, for America's fight against inflation. Oil prices appear to be stabilizing for now, but the fallout from organization of the petroleum exporting countries cut is already set to make this task of reducing inflation that bit harder. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen and St. Louis Fed President James Bullard said as much Monday. So this is, you know, it's not yet a disaster. At current levels, oil prices uh, sit considerably below where they were this time last year. That being said, the Fed won't want to see them move much higher. Now, there's a high, you know, their year-end forecast on Brent by five dollars to 95 per barrel following the output cuts uh, and that's ten dollars higher than the current levels so that sort of price may point to higher for longer interest rates so what can we expect uh, obviously today in the markets well let's take a look at where we are okay hold on for a second my mouse just kind of died on me i don't know why Second, oh, come on, no, it's not. All right. All right, here you go. It's connected already. All right, so sorry about that. All right, so let's take a look at what we can do today. Uh, the fluctuation for the NASDAQ indices. All right, so yesterday we saw how the market actually had actually opened with a gap down. I was speculating for that gap to be closed. Okay, it didn't quite reach there, but today it has been. Okay, so. It fluctuated up to our resistance that we have placed yesterday. So right now, uh, we could probably speculate that we could probably make another attempt at breaking that. Uh, but I don't. I really don't expect that. Now, if for anything, if we do happen to fluctuate above that resistance level, let's take a look back at our next level that I will assume it could be reached at some point. That will be the high of August 16th right around 13,700 points so from here from now to then that's about 450 points of movement where we see that today i honestly don't think so but then again you know the markets do have their own mentality and people do happen to trade in price action a lot of times besides just using technical analysis and the fundamentals so will we see a flotation above that I'm looking that the market is setting itself up, uh, waiting for anything more secure or more information about what the uh, outcome is going to be for uh, President Trump, what he's being charged for, that you know, the indictment is sealed, but it will be open today. So the market will probably be listening to that, and will that hurt the markets? Will we see a sell-off in the markets? If that sell-off happens to uh, to occur, it could probably just you know just make a probabilistic movement to the downside, uh, breaking that thirteen thousand support level, okay, uh, come down um, as perhaps on the first on the first leg down to twelve thousand seven hundred, okay, so that would be a thousand points from where I have my second resi- resistance. But if it doesn't, uh, will it just hold and and do a you know, two side you know trading event today? so far it's looking that way okay so expect that I, I think that we're gonna see more of a lateral movement consolidation just you know, just really uh, staying around these levels for today uh, and obviously you know we're gonna have a short week so no, no trader on Friday Thursday it'll be, it'll be light day so tomorrow is the last day for some real uh, volume in trading as far as for the S&P goes we have seen how the S&P has obviously also traded above our, our resistance level that we had yesterday I'm placing 4200 as a psychological round number for resistance uh, 
will we see that today the rsi is getting closer to being overbought so that that difference or that space could be, probably give bring us closer to that if the momentum to the upside continues so being long in the equities not a bad idea could be a good place uh, but then again be uh, careful as far as the dow goes uh, 34.50 is my next level of resistance we have uh, traded above our level of resistance before or that we had yesterday the rsi is a bit further away to be entering overbought territory so that could be good good opportunity or if not if it not doesn't trade sideways then we have our crude oil so crude oil yesterday uh didn't quite reach my entry point okay uh but it did came down to 79 where, where i was thinking of i would get a name but i was looking lower but that was okay uh, today we have seen that the, ma the market is moving higher. $82 is, is a psychological round support resistance level. So will we find that? Will we reach that today? The RSI is almost getting into that overbought territory, so that could probably be a good case. Uh, will we see another $5 spike in crude oil anytime soon? Who knows? I mean, now we have found, we see how the Saudis or the OPEC can't move the markets with just some comments now will they do it actually they said they will but will they do it that's another that's another scenario so but for now obviously being long uh crude oil is the one of the best ways we'll we'll be the we'll be taking uh, from profit taking or we'll do we'll see a pullback band out to 79 that could be also the case but for now yeah being long is the best the one of the best chances all right, so then we have not gas. Not gas is really just trading sideways. Uh, not much to do here. Um, I'm not even not traded. Gold, however, is look poised to look to make another attempt at reaching 2,000, being long gold. So let's go long gold. One contract, and boom, I'm long gold. My target is gonna be around uh, the 2,000 marker. Then we have silver. Silver is poised also to do a nice, perhaps a nice breakout. If you, if you follow, we have seen it that the market after this strong drop found its, its, its bottom around $20. And from here, it has done two candles, one red, one green, and then moved into the upside. Here, and with different three candles, two red, one green, then to the upside. Here, or consolidation. Now, this is you no know, consolidation ranging, that range and breakout. Another consolidation and breakout, another consolidation and breakout, another consolidation and breakout, another consolidation and breakout. I'm gonna go for that. All right, so I'm gonna buy one here, right where I'm at. All right, so I'm gonna long silver also. Then copper, copper has traded yesterday. I, I really, I was thinking, I was expecting for copper to do an upside movement to the, you know, a breakout to the upside, it did to the downside. Uh, however, it did, it did find some support right around four dollars and around this levels is where I'm gonna come here and buy copper so I'm, I'm long metals Bitcoin I'm not even gonna trade it twenty eight twenty eight thousand dollars uh, it's gonna stay it's gonna idle around this side to side it you know trading on that the currencies are looking to perhaps move, continue to move higher right now they're pushing lower okay it's a profit taking a momentum all right, the RSI is still about 50, still far away from being or about. I'm going to wait to see if it comes down even lower to, uh, to 108.50 to go long. The pound is re retracing uh, from this strong movement to the upside because the dollar index is has rebounded off the 101.50 marker. So that will be another scenario to watch. I am one of one one. Let's see if the dollar index continues to lose more of its shine and breaks that 101.50 and breaks down to one to the 101 levels or even lower uh, to the very second. Will it reach that low of very second of 100.50-ish? We'll see if that happens. There's going to be a nice movement to the upside on the currencies and metals. All right, that is it for me uh, so far. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.